is pushing back the darkness regularly at the top of your morning to-do list. Pack lunches, get the kids to school, run some errands, do some work, push back the darkness, figure out what's for dinner. <laughs> it's probably not something we think about like that in practical terms. But I know when I pray, I often pray that God gives me the wisdom and strength to push back the darkness. I pray this over our church family, that we as a body of believers work together to push back the darkness in our communities and in our city with the light and hope of Jesus we carry. The darkness isn't something we readily see. It can be the brightest part of the day, yet darkness can surround us, even be waiting at our door. What is this darkness we need to be aware of and how can we actively push it back? Darkness in scripture refers to evil, sin, and despair. Light, by contrast, refers to truth, holiness, wisdom, and goodness. Jesus refers to himself as the light and how believing in him is the key to remaining in the light. John 12, 35. Then Jesus told them, you are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light so that you may become children of light. Jesus goes on to say in verse 46 that he has come as a light into the world and that whoever believes in him should not abide in darkness. Abiding in darkness is living in sin. Sin brings darkness to our heart and life and ultimately, if not thrown out, will gradually take hold of our life and keep us in the dark. Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that we don't struggle against flesh and blood, but against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil. If we lived each day fully understanding the spiritual war that rages around us, I think our to-do list would be topped off with war room type prayers to push back the darkness. Darkness creeps into our life in very subtle ways. I was actually comparing it recently to the upkeep of my home. If I don't do laundry every day, it will pile up. If I don't keep the dishes cleaned up and put up, a towering stack of dishes will overtake my sink. If I don't vacuum and sweep up the dog hair on a very regular basis or clean my bathrooms, mop my floor, or take out the trash, my home will quickly be overtaken. I have to daily work to push it all back. Sin and darkness creep in the same way. If I become complacent to it and don't understand the very real threat of it at my door, it can and will pile up in my life. Do you feel overtaken by darkness? Maybe you're in a serious struggle right now. Call in the name of the Lord. Don't fight your battle any longer without the Spirit of God in your life. Jesus is the light. When we walk in His light, there is no darkness that can overcome it. That's the truth. Get your armor on. Stay prayed up, alert, and on guard. Stay in the light. Take active steps to get the sin out of your heart, your life, and your home. Love and serve those around you. Resist temptation and connect with other believers to hold you accountable and encourage you. Hide God's word in your heart daily to prepare for battle. Together we can push back the darkness. Oh yeah, and let's put this on our daily to-do list. I'm Lori Klein.